I'm going to show you how to create a script resource library to store your scripts and other assets that are used to customize your SharePoint site. We can use this to store jQuery or JavaScript files, CSS files, HTML, even images if we wanted to put them in here. We want to store these files in a uniform place so that we can add some metadata around them in case we need to troubleshoot some any issues. So let's go ahead and create a new library. We'll go to Site Actions, New Document Library, and we'll call this Resources, or we can call it whatever we want. Um, we'll call it Library to Store Script, CSS, HTML, etc. used on the site. Uh, we'll display it on the quick launch. Now we want to be sure to click yes. We want to create a new version each time we edit a file in the library. Um, this way we, if we make a mistake in our, our new script and we make it so the site won't render, we can always go back and undo that and we'll have the previous version there. So very important to turn on versioning. And then we don't need a template here because it's not we're not going to store Word documents or Excel or anything like that. So we don't need to have a template associated with this. So we'll click Create, and we've got our library. Now we want to go in and add a couple of new columns to the library. So we'll go up to Library Settings in our ribbon. We can scroll down. We can see there's already four columns created by default. Um, we want to create another column, so we'll create column. We'll call this original author. So if this is a script that you found on the internet, um, we want to know who wrote it. Uh, we'll keep that single line of text. We'll keep everything else default here. Um, we want to add another column. Let's call it original location. And this is going to be a, a hyperlink field. And we want to make sure that it is formatted as a hyperlink versus a picture. This is so we can link back to the original blog post or article or wherever we found the script. And then we'll add one more column. We'll call this comments. We'll have multiple lines of text. This is just for us to add any other additional notes around that script that we might have. Um, all those fields that I just created are optional, so they're not required. So now we've got our script library. Let's go back so we can see it, and here we can see we've got our blank library with, with the name, the modified, and then the three fields that we added. So we're, we're done creating our library, and then in the next video, we will actually add a solution to the library.